Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel today, and we are back for another tutorial today. And this is my third tutorial made, as we have made originally one on YouTube, one on how to stream on Twitch, and one on YouTube. We're going to do in-depth on more of those in the future, but today's tutorial is going to be how to use Streamlabs to set up donation alert, fall alerts, and also a have your event show up on screen as well as new subscribers. Now this can work for either Twitch or YouTube, as um, this used to only be recently for um, Twitch, but they updated it for YouTube. This used to be called before it was called uh, updated to Streamlabs. Used to be called Twitch Alerts. Now it's called Streamlabs. Now because they've included YouTube in it. Now I'm going to basically explain, like I said again, how to do fall alerts, how to do subscriber alerts, how to do donation alerts, and etc. Now first, um. You're going to have to make, obviously, link a Twitch account or YouTube account. That's your first thing you have to do. I'm going to start. I'm just going to do it from Twitch. You can do the same thing with subscribers on YouTube. It's just not nothing much different. But first, you're going to start. You're going to go to your alert box. Now, what your alert box is, where you're going to get your alerts. Now, you got to use these URLs to do your alerts, obviously. And then um, you can test them. Now, here we've got background color, alert delay, how much delay you want on the alert. The alert moderation delay and the layout of where how you want it to show up when it hits the screen and then you could have custom things for following like enabling or disabling the layout um, its animation the template which you want it actually to say a picture you can basically pick a bunch of pictures or download one from the internet um, a sound they've they like I said they have default sounds you guys could use but I recommend um, definitely uh, trying those out and if you don't like them download some sounds um, I use John Cena and, you know, uh, some Holy Shit and Tactical Nuke ones. They're pretty cool. But there's tons. You could do any, you know, that seems like as long as it's not, you know, feel it's breaching anything, you know, copyright terms. But um, sound volume, alert duration, and alert text. And then you could pick up some weird, you could do some font settings. You can mix up. There's a bunch of different font settings you want. I don't know. They got tons. And then highlight colors as well. And then variations, maybe for a special thing. I don't know, randomize you to give their stream some variety. If you want to be more standout-ish in uh, terms of alerts there. That's for follows. Now, if subscriptions on Twitch, I don't know, that's only people with sub buttons. Same kind of thing there. And then that there's donations. There are your donations. You, same thing with donations. Now, a little different thing with donation, though, is the message settings. Now, this is different, obviously. You could use... Twitch emotes, again, YouTube, there's nothing like this, I don't know, because Twitch does the emotes. Then there's in amount the show, and also you could enable text-to-speech here. It's in one of the settings here, I'm not sure where it is, but um, one of the settings here is text-to-speech. You can use those easily, and see, this is one of my variations. I do a nuke, so you basically, how you do is add a variation, and then it gives you a bunch of these options, and you got to fill them all in, and then this is for, like, maybe someone to do donate 420, you know, some special number. You know, 100, I don't know. Whatever number you feel set fit for a, you know, a variation on anything. And then we've got host. If anyone wants to, you know, host your stream on Twitch, that's also the same for that. And then um, also then we've got bits for if you're, again, you have to have a sub button to get the bits on Twitch. But after that, you're basically going to copy this URL here. You're going to click. Obviously, I'm not going to click because I don't want to show my URL. You're going to click it. And then one, you're going to go to your OBS. Or if you use XSplit. You also could use either OBS or XSplit on this. I definitely recommend those are the two. Again, like I said in my original video on YouTube on how to stream and all that, I either recommended OBS or XSplit. Then you're going to need to go put this in. Now, let's give an example here. Donation goal. Now, let me show you how to do the donation goal first. The donation goal. Here's, a, let's say, Xbox One Control. All right, let's say I want to do a donation goal for, let's see, Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is coming out in, what, about a month? So... We're going to end donation goal since I already had set up. So here's how we're going to set up. We're going to put Outlast 2. We're going to put a goal amount, obviously. It's, I think, 30 bucks. All right, starting amount, zero. And then we're going to put the month, the date. And so it comes out 404 slash 26 slash 17. All right, then once you do that, click Start Donation Goal. You got link there. All right, then you're going to click show URL. Obviously, um, I'm, I can't really show it on the stream. I gotta, I'll gotta. i do it right now, but and you can expand it or unexpand, depending on if you want to make it big or not. But that's the donation goal, and then whenever someone donates, then you could set the color of it. You want maybe, you know, not green, bar color, different bar color. There's tons of colors you can use, just depending on it, 
whatever you want, and there's different layouts as well. That's how to do a donation goal. Now, how to do alerts. Same thing with alerts. You're going to copy that URL in. Again, you're going to paste it, set it up as a source. You're going to set up as a browser source. All right, once you do it as a browser source, you're going to have it set up here. It should, you just I would name it, again, I would name it alerts. So I name it just alerts. So I'm going to have them on here. Turn them on, make sure they're on. All right, then we're going to test a follow. All right, here we go. Test. And boom. See, just like that, once you have everything set there, you link it in, the follow should pop up normally. Now, let's say we want to test a subscription, someone subs on Twitch or YouTube. There you go. Boom, that's just for Twitch right now, but YouTube is the same thing. Uh, how about a donation? Holy shit, 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 shit. There's a donation right there. This is a test donation for a dollar. And then a host alert. And his name is John C. And then a... Okay, I'm going to redo it. And then there's the bit alert. Those are all the alerts. See, they're not pretty simple. You could have them all on. You could disable some if you want, but you can use them all. All right, and there's stream labels here. Um, I don't know. That's something you can use to keep track of everything. Donation ticker if you want uh, your donations to be shown off. Um, there's the chat box. Now, this I'll do for another video, um, but this is how you basically can put a chat in your uh, stream. You can do this on either YT or Twitch. Then the event list. This is something I use too. So event list, the same thing we're going to do here. Um, basically copy and paste the URL again. You're going to pick a theme. This is basically how I do mine. Um, you could use a bunch of animations as well. It's pretty cool. And then all right, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. All right. I'm going to add that as a browser source. And I named it here. I named it events. So we're going to turn events on and see events are instantly going to pop up there. So these are just Twitch stuff. You could do that for your IT too, depending on if you want. Depends. So let's test the follow. See? Follow done. Subscription. See, they will update automatically on the events as well as the alert again pops up. See, the events will automatically upside donation. And then host and bed. You know, you get the you get the drill there. Then there's the wish list. If you ever want to add a wish list, I don't know. I've really never done that. That's your interesting. And then there's also extra things they're adding here is an extra life. Um, the jar and all stars are those things you use for Twitch. Now, YouTube's kind of the same thing. You're just basically, again, with YouTube, you're going to copy and paste the URL, add it as a browser source, and then you can customize it any way you want. As in terms of it could be really in depth. I mean, honestly, you could throw a freaking, you know, Illuminati 420, you know, whatever you want on it. And it's really cool. I, I definitely recommend it. if you want more people to follow or subscribe or whatever donate alerts really help because alert people will always you know people i've this is my experience people love to sh have their name show up on screen because once one person subs when i see a news on my stream i see another two people sub or another five it, it's just ridiculous once you see one person on screen that person's going to show up on screen now i don't know if they're necessarily gonna like your content but um definitely um you know them following and subscribing they, they might like your alerts and they you know you can ask viewers for extra alerts and stuff you know what they want maybe depends but that is things I recommend here. You can um, check their YouTube channel out, their Twitter. Um, you can feature suggestions, community support, and blog. If I did miss anything in this video, I'd love if you guys would tell me because um, I want to make sure I didn't leave anything out here. But I believe that we did on through fall alerts. We went through uh, donation alerts. We went through host alerts as well. But I think other than that, um, again, subscriber alerts, the same thing. You're just going to basically sign into YouTube. Um, it's basically the same thing. It gives you an option to sign into Twitch or YouTube. You just got to link your account. Once you link your account, you should be good. And other than that, like I said, the customization, customization options are off the roof. So you can do anything you really want. And it's literally free. This is free. This is, you don't have to pay a single dime for this. This is just, they give you so many good tips. I always love Streamlabs. I've been using them since I started my channel six months ago. It's been crazy. But, um... I definitely, again, recommend Streamlabs. Any other one, definitely you could use, but I this is the one I use and I recommend. Again, this was a tutorial on how to do Streamlabs on, for your uh, donation alerts and all that other thing. But again, I want to stress again, you need to use Browser Source if you're on OBS2. Again, if you're on XSplit, I don't really know how to explain that many, but it's probably just, again, you got to add a source and then add it as either a browser source. I don't know how it works, again, 100% on XSplit. But basically, that's it. And then, I'll again, I'll show how to do... um. 
Again, my overlay and sub going all that later. Maybe face cam as well on the next video. But this is basically a, a tutorial on how to add alerts on Streamlabs. So, thank you guys for watching. We go for five... Let's go for 100 likes. If we go for 100 likes, that'd be awesome, guys. I really would appreciate it, guys. If you made it to the end of this video. Again, uh, leave your favorite aspect of Streamlabs and what you like uh, about it. Definitely in the comments down below. And give me uh, an opinion on what you thought of this. If you think I need to do better or you think I missed anything or you thought it was awesome, just make sure to leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer most of them. Thank you guys again for watching. I do appreciate all your support. You guys are an amazing audience. I do appreciate it again. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.